Next Thursday's Eye to Eye documentary, Wait on the Lord, shows how increasing numbers of black young people are turning to the church for inspiration and support. Tonight, Loving Memory, an insight into the traditional rituals practiced in Naples when a person dies and is prepared for the journey to heaven. Interred in Terra Santa for a span of 20 or so months until it's dried. And what goes under marble as a man comes out as Mimo still, but mummified. When the desiccating soil is shoveled in, when the marble slabs slid back in place, that's the moment Mimo's spirit must begin its lengthy journey to the Lord's embrace. And the family have to help to get him there. Their love and care must will him on his way. Spirit and corpse need suffrage and need prayer. And though he's more than this, he mustn't stay. Loving Memory, tonight at 9.30 on BBC Two. Now on to, according to the Bradshaw of Broadcasting, we're due in at Crew any minute on the eve of the Queen's visit, marking the town's birthday celebrations. Brian Redhead now tells the story of the Grand Junction. When the porter here at Crew replied to that young woman who didn't know what to do, he should have said, welcome to the party because Crewe is 150 years old. On the 4th of July, 1837, the first train of the new Grand Junction Railway ran through here. We are celebrating it now as they celebrated it then, with their song. No, not that one, this one. On the 4th day of July, I recollect well What bustle there was in the morning, I'll tell With the lads and young lassies so buxom and gay Delighted and talking about the railway Travel by steam, so the folks say All the world over upon the railway 